Okay, Skater, tell us about your vase of memories. You have been working on this at home, and you have added color into the vase. Talk about that. Well, I couldn't decide what color I wanted, so I had thought of maybe doing it sort of a silver color. Uh, what I was going by was gold. But I had a mixture of where I had put some blue and black, and I added a little white to it, and it came out this color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I went ahead and put it on there and let it dry. As so, Bob Ross would say, that was a happy accident? Well, happy or unhappy, depending. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But... I uh, want, I could go back and, and go over it, so, so I just let it dry, and now I can add to it, add some touches of color and change okay. the, the shadow fall and all that. Okay, and I do think you're correct that um, the sides of your vase are not the same vase. That no. this one has a little extra poof over here. Yeah, I thought maybe I might add that back. So on the you, other side. you can add the poof over here, or um, you know whatever makes you happy. Um, another thing that you had talked about earlier was adding a little bit of this pale, pale pink into some highlights. This looks like a wonderful piece of pottery that has been pulled and. Um, that that would add a little bit of um, life to the highlight there. And also, um, as you refine the um, shape of your face, that you were going to soften the edges. And sort of get the ghost off of one side <laughs> of it. Yes. <laughs> as they used to say what on TV. <laughs> yeah, she's talking about there's a little bit more light back here, and then we see a little bit of a dark line there. So she will uh, merge those two into one another so that it doesn't have that cut out look. And um, I think even the footing on the vase is not equal and it also needs to be softened a little. Yeah. Well, you have some work for this coming week then. Yeah. Good, we look forward to seeing you next week. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah.